I feel like Eugene White. was the original Butters. <laughs> <laughs> and Bernie's the new Bart Simpson. <laughs> like the nerdy Bart Simpson. Bernie should also Smash use the other. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. <laughs> Good, well, I'm drinking water. Uh, evil Q, there he is. We're doing it like Star Fox dialogue. That's right, we have to go on the oil rig and kill a bunch of independent contractors. That was a really demented uh, Brady Bunch uh, <laughs> style thing going on there. <laughs> Why is the guy so pissed? <laughs> Why do I have a jetpack? It's burning his ass. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Part of me, I'm the Lunchlish. I'm the Rocketeer. I know he's not Sean Connery, but the voice is with him. Oh, I think we talked about that. That'd be a great scene in the movie. <laughs> like, yeah, like a comedy where, where the silencer is louder than the actual gunshot. <laughs> in the actual but, shot, yeah. And then and the bad guys are just kind of looking around like, what's going on? <laughs> I think they did that in Hot Shots Part D, but not in the same way that we're thinking. Oh, yeah. Isn't Golden Gun supposed to take a lot in one shot? Well, that's in Golden Eye, so... Yeah, the, the Golden Gun of this is just a gold gun. It's not like the Golden Gun. It's not the Golden Gun. Tattoo's not here. <laughs> I know he has a real name, but I always forget the guy who plays Tattoo's name. Tattoo? A little short guy from Golden Gun. Knickknack. No, I mean his name in real life, because on uh, Fantasy Island he played that too. Nick Nick. Nick Lane, Nick Lane. That guy. Yeah, Nick Nick. That's who he plays in Golden Gun. Yeah, but... His real name's not Nick Nick. It's called yeah, it like... Sure it's it like Javier or a whore... I... Oh, it's not Nick whore, Nick. but... Paddywhack. Oh god, I remember this level now. Oh, it's gonna give, give me nightmares. I got this. We played this so it's many fine. times. fine, I got this. Wait, there's this guy. Mr. Bond. <laughs> he actually does laugh like that's the sad part. <laughs> that's oh, I threw my back. You've come a long way to die, Mr. Bond. <laughs> you watch out for that Riddler uh, hypnotic ray over there <laughs> from uh, Batman Forever. No, that was Batman. Was it Batman Forever? Uh, the Val Kilmer I, one. I can't tell anymore. Uh, Mr. Enigma. Uh, I don't feel so good. That was the movie that introduced. Kiss from a rose on <laughs> Two hours later. <laughs> I should put that in. <laughs> Two hours later. later. Yeah. What was I just doing that with? It was Holly. We were just going back and forth on two hours later. So much later that they had to hire another girl. Yeah. A nut here. Two hours later. Can you hurry up and all the time yeah, cards? Yeah, all the cards. That was a Wet Painters episode. Well, that's my favorite spot. God, so good. Yeah, he comes on sometimes. Uh, did you say 30 seconds ago? And I quote, it, This is exactly in your voice. I've got this! <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, man, I got this. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. <laughs> this is as easy as a pumpernickel pie, man. I got this. <laughs> is that even a real thing? Pumpernickel pie. <laughs> I bet it'd be really, like, make you go... God, that's delicious. Ooh, pumpernickel. I really like all those thistles you put in there. Ooh, it's all my favorite ingredients. Raisins, pumpernickels, and coffers. <laughs> coffers. <laughs> Raisins, pumpernickels, staples. <laughs> Raisins. <laughs> Raisins. Raisin. Did we talk about the, the California Angel? California Angels. Let's start that over again. The California Raisins, you remember them? Uh, are they like Claymation? Claymation? Yeah. yeah. Yep. I always thought that they should have had their own action movie called Raisin Hell. <laughs> it would have been awesome. Woo! It would have been like their version of Death Wish. Which, again, we have to do those movies. All of them? Oh, yes. All five of them. There are five of them, by the way. I know. I said again, there are five of them. <laughs> Two hours later. <laughs> there are still five of them. Charles Bronson came back from the dead. There's more. I heard that they were going to remake them. I believe. That. I think Eli Roth was attached because, you know what? When you need a crappy remake made, apparently. Let's get Eli Roth, because they want to make the bad seed over with him. I'm not impressed by him as a director, I'm sorry. What's he done? Um, the only movie I actually liked that he did was um, Captain Fever. But he did Hostel. Oh, okay. And he was the Bear Jew and Inglorious Bastards. The what? 
the bear Jew, which is what they call him, because we've seen the glorious bastards okay, and not crazy. I, I thought I misheard you, but I guess I didn't. I don't want to go on my Tarantino rant right now, so I'm not going to. Mm -hmm. Should I be going on my Tarantino rant? Uh, follow your heart. I like Reservoir Dogs, love Pulp Fiction. Mm -hmm. I think Jackie Brown's a great movie. I feel like after that movie came out, and it didn't do as well as he thought, he's like, well, you know what the problem was? I wasn't Tarantino enough. <laughs> so then, like, ever since then, he's just been so Tarantino-y that, like, every movie is just Tarantino. It's like you always watch it, it's like, every second is like, don't forget, you're watching one of my movies. <laughs> but Jackie Brown wasn't like that. And it was, because, I mean, it was adapted from a book anyway. But, like, Kill Bill has its moments. Kill Bill 2 is better. But, like, I'm not crazy about Inglorious Bastards. I thought Death Proof was boring. Django was good, but, like, I just, I'm sick of his voice, I guess. Mm. It's just too Tar it's too Tarantino-y. Like, there's no room for it to be... So it's kind of typecast as a Tarantino. Oh, well, like, even Hitchcock. Sometimes you forget that they're Hitchcock movies, even if they have his trademarks. Like, how different is North by Northwest from, on, say, like, Rear Window? I mean, they have elements that are there, but, like, he's not, like, pushing it in your face that he's Hitchcock. He's doing a Hitchcock movie. I, that's, that's how I feel, at least. In a good way? Or In a, a good way. Okay. Like, he's letting the movie be its own thing. Right, and that's what yeah. made him a great director, because, like, he always reinvented himself. Okay, Even yeah. with his with his signatures. He's like the David Bowie of filmmaking. Right. Exactly. Looked like him. You know. Did David Bowie look like David Bowie? Yeah, he kind of did, actually. But, like, I feel like Tarantino is just, like, so adamant to remind you that it's one of his movies. But that's just my own feel about it. I think it's valid. But even in his westerns, he has to use like music that he would use in his other movies. <laughs> Going up, paying a wagon. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I do. <laughs> You're Mr. Spot. I did like Django, though. I thought Django was good. Um, I don't know. In Glorious Bastards, I just I love Chris Christoph Waltz is awesome in that. Well, well, if I try to do my imitation well, of him, I'm just going to sound like Werner Herzog again. <laughs> oh, we've already used ears. <laughs> oh boy, I'm Christoph Waltz, Wilbur. <laughs> I don't know why I find that so funny. <laughs> Probably because I just made an idiot of myself. I didn't know what a German person sounded like. Because, of course, we all remember Mr. Ed's uh, catchphrase. Nice job, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> all these years you've been fucking up. <laughs> and I've been putting up with it left and right. <laughs> Oh boy, there's gonna be a few changes around here. <laughs> there's a new sheriff in town. <laughs> Put a star on him. <laughs> it's probably not far fetched. They probably did pitch an idea. Mr. Red is a sheriff. For season three, I want to be a sheriff. In season four, I get voted to the presidency. Now, normally I'd have to bring you into jail for this, but you caught me in a good mood. <laughs> Before he accepts a bribe. <laughs> Maybe Thomas Jefferson could get you out of this jam. <laughs> is that a real? Is that a common phrase that people say? Probably not. It's probably just like in movies or bad TV shows. <laughs> Maybe a Mister Abraham Lincoln could convince me otherwise. Oh my god! I didn't even realize that you were talking about bribing. Thomas Jefferson on a twenty, isn't he? Oh my god! Oh, that's Andrew Jackson, isn't it? Okay, there we go. Wait, I don't even know. God, how do I not know this? It's Andrew Jackson. I only use debit cards now. It's actually John Quincy Adams. <laughs> It's actually Phyllis Diller. Maybe uh, Jimmy Carter could persuade you. <laughs> Jimmy Carter's on the five dollar playbill, like in, a, in, a, in like a board game. Maybe President Bill Pullman could uh, persuade you. <laughs> Perhaps a Mister George H. W. Bush. Oh God, he's on the negative five. <laughs> Then he just comes out of the closet. Hey, I'm George W. H. W. 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 H. W. Bush. Oh, you did the H. W. I was thinking of the W. W. Would have been on the negative five. I like how everyone started liking him again when he's like, "I don't like Donald Trump either, guys." I know. Like, oh man, I miss him so much. I know. Before that, I was like, "Fuck this guy." <laughs> Not gonna do it. <laughs> that was my Barbara Bush imitation. <laughs> Not gonna do it. <laughs> All these years, I've never done it. <laughs> Thousand points of light. I remember when I was a kid, I was, I, when he was running for re-election, right? And I was like, oh, you know what? He looks like a nice old guy. You know, he should, he should win. You know, I didn't know what politics were back then. He looked like my grandfather a little bit. <laughs> Actually, he looked nothing like my grandfather. He was just the same age. But uh, yeah, all old people look alike. <laughs> Here's a picture of five different old people. They're like pod, like humanoid pods. <laughs> <laughs> 
from ages uh, 65 to 85. They all look the same. <laughs> Why do you think it says 65 plus on all the forms? It's all the same to everybody. <laughs> Early bird special. Doesn't matter. We, we know what you look like. You're all birds to us. You don't even need an ID. <laughs> all these years. <laughs> oh boy. I'm really in the deep shit now. <laughs> We're really pissing off our old fan base now. We 